Hi, so we are back with one more video showing how to model, to make BIM models with FreeCAD. And in this video, I'm going to show uh, how to make these, um, these, um, these profiles in, in the in the slabs in, in the roof slabs. Uh, someone commented on one of the previous videos that it would be interesting to show how to make these uh, slopes in, in the in the roof slabs that appear on the on the roof plan. So I'm gonna do do this now. And um, you see, I'm just trying to find out how these um, these slopes happen. What I'm doing now is uh, selecting three points of these 2D drawings uh, to align the working plane. Uh, you just can click three vertices and press the working plane button and your working plane is aligned. Um, so this is useful if you want to align your working plane with some shapes that has no, no face. Um, and what I'm going to do now is draw profiles. You see that the working plane snapping button is enabled. So I can draw on the elevation plane, but by snapping points on the plan view, which is quite cool actually, because I can take these points that are not visible on the elevation but still be drawing on the leve on the elevation. So what I'm trying to do now is basically to draw profiles that will be subtracted from my slabs. So in order to create the, the slopes. And um, so I'm now like trimming these lines this is to find to have some points to to to, to snap to. You can of course uh, use the intersection snapping, but um, having an endpoint is always uh, uh, mm, so sometimes the intersection snapping doesn't work quite well. So having endpoints is better. That's why I did this uh, this trimming. So I make this triangle and I'm making another triangle now for the, the bigger bigger part. And again doing the same, doing some trimming of these lines, just to have an endpoint exactly where I want them in order to to draw these triangles. And so I'm just drawing a draft wire. And close. So we have these two triangles. And now the same on the other elevation, just with control pressed, uh, select three, three vertices. And with that, you can align the working plane to these three vertices. As you know, three vertices, three points define a plane. So that's enough to to, uh, to set the working plane. And this is quite an interesting way to work, like to snap in 3D to something that's not in the plane that you're working with. You see here that uh, in these four, four um, sloped areas of my roof, um, I should actually, I'm going to make two triangles in this elevation here. Yeah, so we'll have in total four triangles, the two I already drew, plus the two I'm going to draw, draw now. And now I would actually need six because, um, because uh, on the other part of this roof, um, the, the, the uh, the hole is not at the same place, but let's simplify and let's do it li like this for now. It will be a bit uh, wrong, but it will be faster for our video.
And what I'm trying to do here basically is to get, oops, this was wrong. And um, Yeah, sometimes this is some problem with the edit tool that I couldn't fix yet. Um, so in this case, uh, uh, I found it easier to just uh, do it again. In many cases, the, most of the bugs in FreeCAD usually are s very small bugs and they shouldn't like um, keep you spending hours and hours trying to, to work them around. Usually it's way faster to just simply do it again. And that's you, that's usually my, my that's my usual way to solve bugs is just do it again and it's way faster and um, so actually what we're doing here is we're going to extrude this triangle remember that they are like forming shapes that will be subtracted from our, our slabs and uh, before subtracting this um, we are actually trying to, to create <clears throat> the exact shape that needs to be subtracted. Um, so I'm thinking that these shapes are like the intersections of these extruded triangles. You see that we need to set the normal correctly and these little arrows in the corner help you really to figure out what's the, the normal direction. Now we have these four um, extruded triangles and we can use simply the part in intersection tool to create and you see that ob obviously the, the hole is not at the right place because I should have made two more triangles but this will do for now um, so again and you see this one is pretty cool when we will subtract this shape from our slab that will be exactly what we need and since all these uh, are parametric uh, inside our intersection we still have access to our triangles so I'm doing two more and then we have our, our four shapes now to subtract before doing complex boolean operations, especially on your main objects, it's always a good idea to save because in case of crash, I don't want to do all this again. And then this simply worked. What I did is simply select my four uh, subtraction shapes and with control pressed the the roof slab i want to subtract them for, from and press the minus button which has you as you saw simply adds these four objects to the subtraction uh, property of my roof slab so they get subtracted from it and this seems to have worked perfectly so we're going to do the same for the smaller roof slab so again I'm placing my no this won't work because yeah I need only three points these vertices are sometimes a bit difficult to, to select and you can change the, the point size uh, of this shape to make it easier but and so we're doing the same operation again Trimming the lines. 
as I said earlier, this is not totally necessary because the intersection snap should find them, but it's always easier. Also, the intersection snap is calculation hungry. It's like it performs a complex calculation while the endpoint snap doesn't. So it's always interesting to have endpoints because snapping goes way faster. So here we go. And same thing here. Select three points. Place the working plane. Draw some lines. You see that I'm using keyboard shortcuts here for everything, like L, I for line, T, R for trim. And so working with, with, with the keyboard is really fast in, in FreeCAD, once you have those basic uh, shortcuts in, in mind. Basically the draft ones, it's mostly what I use, line, rectangle, trim, move, rotate. So now we have to put the normals of these extrusions in the right direction. Again, you can use the small arrows here to guide you to define what's the normal direction, what the normal direction should be. Then we perform our intersections. And we have our two shapes to subtract from this slab. So we select with control pressed everything. Always the, the things to subtract from something else. So first the shapes to subtract, then the shape they need to be subtracted from. And this seems perfectly right. So we can remove all our construction lines and we have our final shapes ready and that's it